good morning welcome back to the channel my name is Sarah if you guys are new and today Matt's have going to take his CPA exam so Lainey boy and I are all alone and I'm not gonna lie Matt's been studying so much lately which obviously he needs to do but it is so hard to be like the sole parent with an with an infant with a baby I felt like I was losing my mind like he was working yesterday he worked or studied from like 8 ish in the morning till 10 at night and I just felt like I did not have a second of myself, so we were watching a little bit of TV. I do let Lane watch TV when I feel like I need a break or when I need to get something done. Um, so I put on some Blue's Clues for him, which was one of my faves when I was a kid. And my thing with screen time is I'm not gonna be like someone that pulls out an iPad at dinner for my baby, but I will let my baby watch TV every once in a while, especially if I need to get something done. I don't think there's anything wrong with it i know the app or the aap or whatever it is says you shouldn't give screen time before 18 months but honestly every single person in like our generation watched tv before they're 18 months old i know for a fact so um we all turned out fine i'm not overly worried about it my thing is more like the small screens i don't want as much i'm not going to give him an ipad the phones i don't really want him looking at too much but to set him down in front of a tv and watch 15 minutes of bluey or blues clues or um that kind of stuff doesn't bother me too much my thing is more so trying to find low stimulating shows so i've heard like coco melon is really overstimulating uh and stuff like that so i'm trying to do my research for the most part i found that like 90s shows like the ones that we grew up watching are very low stimulating so like arthur and like that kind of stuff i can't think of the other ones right now but dragon tales blues clues like that kind of stuff i'll put on every once in a while so you may think i'm a bad mom for allowing some screen time but you just need it sometimes. I was felt like I was going crazy last night. I didn't have like a second to myself and he was crying for so long and then I put Blue's Clues on and within 10 minutes he's asleep. So it worked perfectly. I mean, he doesn't like stare at the screen for so long that like I'm worried. It's like a few minutes and he falls asleep watching it and it is what it is. So that's that. Tomorrow is Matt's birthday. So Lane and I are gonna go grab breakfast and then um, go get some stuff for Matt's birthday so I always make him this little like ice cream cake if you guys have been around previous years I've made it every single year and I think I've showed it on the vlog but it's literally ice cream sandwiches layered with cool whip and like candies all sprinkled on top and in the middle and stuff so that is the plan for um, his birthday cake because he loves that and then tonight we're gonna do wing night tomorrow we might do something fun too i'm not too sure but um we're gonna celebrate him being like done with his test and his birthday tonight so i am so excited for him to be done his test because that means i get my husband back for a little bit until he's studying for the next one he's probably taking it again uh in a few weeks so it won't be much time before he's like studying 24 7 again but um Oh well. Hopefully Lane falls asleep or like stays asleep for me a little bit. We took a walk this morning and he fell asleep on that and then he is still asleep. So I feel like he's going to be waking up soon and then we're going to be in Panera and I'm not going to be able to get anything done. I really would love to get a vlog up today but it's an hour of footage and I have Lane all by myself so I don't know if I'll be able to get too much work done. But we will see back in the car and my hair feels good huh i feel like lane is uh definitely harder to bring places like that if i want to like sit and chill uh than he was before and obviously that makes sense <laughs> not complaining i'm just making a uh statement um because he he maybe lasts in his car seat for I don't know like 10 minutes and then he wants to be out I try to wrap him in his carrier he doesn't really like that when I'm sitting he likes it more when I'm standing I want to see how long it was in there though I got a text at 10.04 that my order was ready and it's 10.50 so 
we spent a decent amount of time there probably like 50 minutes um and whatever matt it just called me he's like 40 minutes away from his testing location so um we're gonna have a long day without dad probably another at least five to six hours um so right now there's this house that my friend sent me last night or a few days ago and the pictures just got posted online yesterday and we are both like in love with it. We were trying to scheme with everyone we know for someone to be able to get this. I want my friend to get it, I want my mom to maybe get it. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go take a drive and see where it is, see what the neighborhood's like and all that stuff. But it's like the most gorgeous little farmhouse but updated, it's like a stunning house. I honestly want to request a tour but um, probably be wasting the realtor's time, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to put the address in my phone now. And we're going to take a little drive because we have all the time in the world. Okay, we are 10 minutes away. Okay, I drove past the house and you really couldn't see the actual house from the street. But the neighborhood was gorgeous. So, like the neighborhood was like, I took a few videos. So I sent it to my mom. Um, but really stunning neighborhood and yeah so I was really close to a different target than I usually go to so I'm gonna pop in and just like walk around waste some time um, I don't want to go back home yet and sit there alone I do have to work on a YouTube video though and I'd love to be able to clean the house before Matt got home I feel like that'd be like a nice little birthday present because the house has been a disaster because I have been the one taking care of Lane like all day every day and it's just hard to get half stuff done while you're trying to entertain a baby and he doesn't really sleep unless he's on me so yeah so that's about it I'm gonna go walk around take a lap and try not to buy anything because I've been really bad at just spending money lately so I don't think I've logged in there at all and that's because of this boy. That's what he was doing the whole time. <laughs> and so I took him out of his seat and I was holding him. And man, that was a workout. But it didn't calm him down, so. That was like stressful. Oh, and now we start moving in silence. Maybe for like a second, but not for long, I have a feeling. So I definitely, that, that really, it was getting to me. People are staring and I like feel so bad when your baby's crying like walking around a store. Like it makes me feel so guilty and like everyone hates me. But in reality it's like everyone probably went through the same exact thing at one point in their lives. So they know what I'm how I feel, or, like what I'm feeling, and I'm sure they're not mad or care. But you just feel so bad that your baby is screaming in everyone's face that you're like trying to get out of there as fast as possible. So, now I just need to take like a deep breath because, yeah, and I'll see you guys when we get home. We just got home a few minutes ago and I got everything in the house. Lane is in his bouncer and he's pretty content, so I feel like I'm going to try to make this cake really fast before he gets fussy. It only takes a few minutes. What you need is ice cream sandwiches, Cool Whip, M&Ms or whatever kind of candy you want to put in it, honestly, chocolate syrup and caramel syrup. And then you pretty much just layer everything. I've made it a few times. Just gonna start unwrapping everything and layering it. So I'll do ice cream sandwiches and then Cool Whip, and then chocolate and candies, and then ice cream sandwiches, Cool Whip, chocolate candies. layer one and now you repeat okay I had a crying baby the whole time but this is the final cake it took me five minutes and now I'm putting it in the freezer literally never been screamed at so insanely bad um, so I just had to well I just fed him and I literally left the whole mess of everything on my counter so I'm gonna clean that he is playing with his love every little mobile right now under here look how disastrous my house is right now I haven't been able to clean in days I feel like so Things are everywhere, but that is going to change today. But right now, this is his love every little mobile thing that I hung up, and he loves laying under that. Uh, this is actually from the like zero to 12 week box that we got a few months ago. 
and we're still playing with all the things in there. So that is that. I think I'm actually gonna try to clean really quick while he is into that. But I did. I hate how this door swings open so bad. Um, I'm gonna put this milk in the fridge. I just haka, and this is over four ounces with the haka. So this is like really good. I haven't had this much milk with the haka in a very long time. Uh, like I mean, since we first started breastfeeding. So the things that I've been doing to get my supply back up have definitely worked. So. Uh, this is going to go, I'm going to clean the pitcher out really quick and then that's going to go in the pitcher. Matt just got home and I put up this happy birthday thing for him. His birthday's tomorrow, but I put it up a day early. The house is clean for the most part. Not perfect, but I did a good job. Matt is on lane duty now. So I'm trying to get a vlog uploaded. I look crazy. I gotta go fix my face. I feel like today really was testing me. Lane was for some reason just crying all day long. So not the best for me. But I'm trying to get a video up here and then we're gonna head to dinner once it starts uploading so I can upload it from my phone once like it starts, but I know, squishy. He got my hair. Um baby, baby. but yeah, it's taking forever to get it upload it to the hard drive and then I'm just having a hard time, so it is five o'clock. Uh, my goal is to be out of here in like a half hour, but I gotta go like fix my face, get ready a little, and we're pretty much walking around. Lane is really fussy right now, but I did get oh <laughs> Lane and Dad. <laughs> um, I did get another Love Every box in though, and I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about it because I love the first one. He still uses it. He uses his first one so often. I think that one was the Looker box and this one i actually got the sensor which is a five to six month box this one just looks really fun to me so this is the one i picked up um so it looks like this when you open it up i'm super excited for him to be able to play with this stuff and a lot of it honestly looks like stuff he'll be able to start playing with now um but there's a ton of fun toys in here so i'm super excited for him to start um playing with these but I'm going to just start pulling some stuff out and we can take a look at it all. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so this one is like a little tissue box and you pull the different little things out of it. So this is super fun for, look how fun that is. I love that. Um, and like always, they have all like the ways to use the kits in these packets so those are always good to look through um but i seriously love these play kits so i got the looker first i actually skipped the charmer um and then got the sensor for no real reason honestly i just really loved this toy so i wanted to make this little toy up for him uh so i thought this is so fun and he will get a kick out of this so this that noise in there it just i love this so <laughs> um that's going to be so much fun for him. And then there's a few more little things in here. Um, this is little socks you put on their tootsies and kind of help them find their feet. I've noticed the past few days, Lane has been like really finding his feet though. And he has been staring at them like, what are those things? So I think these are going to be really fun to put on his tootsies and he can stare at. 
Uh, it also comes with this parts of me book so I can read this to him. Uh, the nose, mouth, um, cheeks, ear, arms, eyes, hair, teeth, legs, tongue, feet, and back. Super cute. Um, uh, the next thing is this little colorful ball that they can kind of hold on to and play with. This thing is really fun. You can get your fingers in there and they can hold on to it and bright and colorful. Really fun. And the last thing in here is this little ball situation. Ah, and it's kind of like weighted. So it's like a little fun little toy here. So I'm excited. I actually want to bring Lane down and show him this really quick. I feel like he's going to love it. But, um, like I mentioned last time, if you guys saw the unboxing of the Love Every Stuff last time, um, they are uh, subscription based for the most part. So if you want to sign up for the subscription, you like they come to your house every two months, I think. So you have the looker um, for two months, three to four months is the charmer, the sensor, the inspector, the explorer, and the thinker. So without even having to think about it, they just automatically get sent to your door. And I think it's a super great subscription box for kids because I feel like it's hard to find toys that fit the right age when you're just like looking in a store. So these are great toys that just get sent to you without having to think about it. It's a great thing to sign up for someone else, a loved one, a friend, a family member um, that's having a baby. It'd be a great present for them. So you could just send it to them and it gets delivered every two months. And I feel like it's a great present. So with that, I'm gonna actually take a look and read this, get some ideas of how to use all these toys and all that kind of stuff. These things are super helpful. Um, and it also kind of just talks about like what your baby will be doing during these months that um, the kid is for um, and then how to play with the toys. So, really fun and we're gonna sit down and play with this stuff now. So, um, I just saw in this little book, actually these little things have these holes so you can pull the different things through. Oh! Ready? Ready? So we are headed to BJ's for wing night. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm super <laughs> nervous about going out right now because he's been screaming all day. I don't know what's wrong. If something is wrong, if he's like getting sick or if he's just having an off day and just being fussy, it could honestly be nothing. But he's been screaming all day long and is, that is not like him. So I'm hoping the car puts him to sleep, but we don't have a long drive i'm gonna make a quick bottle of milk for him so i can feed him at the restaurant um i did hawk a decent amount this morning but i only hawk it that one time so i have like four ounces in the fridge and we definitely need to hawk again tonight so we have milk in the fridge i feel like nighttime my milk supply is still like pretty decreased so i like to have enough in the fridge to get us through like one or two nights at least um so, pray for us. Hope he stops crying here. And we can have a peaceful birthday dinner for Matthew. That's about it. I'm super excited. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to play with his love every stuff a little bit more because he was just crying. He's just screaming today. For some bizarre reason, he's just not having it. So, hopefully he calms down. I want to read some more of my book. I've been reading the Housemaid series. I read the first two already. I read the second one actually in like a day, like a day and a half, and I really like that one, and I'm on the third one now, so. Falling pieces in my room They're coming over at school Go outside, take a little ride if you want to
got a Stanley for milk. Uh, orange chili. Yep. My set is all put together. Looks much different. This is a nice set I got him. I showed you guys a few weeks ago in Target. I was gonna give it to him for Christmas, but ended up giving it to him today because his brothers bought him the watch that he wanted for his birthday. So looks nice. Definitely a lot darker than our old block and the white knives, but you can see like they were starting to kind of get gross. So they were getting like brown, yeah. and then half of the steak knives didn't have yeah. this thing, and we're all breaking right here. Yeah. Which so. I don't even know where those knives are. So here are the new knives. They look nice. I just kind of tidied the kitchen up again. <laughs> I hawked and I got a ounce just now, and literally everything is not working for Lane today. So he's been so fussy lately. Tried to put his love every uh, these up from the first box we got and put them in a swing, but he's not really loving it. He just threw up on me actually. And I, we're about to head out to get pizza for Matt's birthday lunch. So that's the plan. We're also gonna run to the grocery store and pick up stuff for dinner tonight. We're gonna do um, mashed potatoes. This, like we're, We call it crispy chicken. It's what they made at school. Um, so it's like crispy, it's just grilled chicken pretty much, mashed potatoes, chicken gravy, and like crispy onion straws on it. So, trying to get this throw up off me. I'm gonna do the milk, and then I'm gonna pick the baby up. Yum, okay. Switch. Yeah. Okay, it's dinner time. We have a little bit of a fussy baby these days. He's just a little not too happy. And it is time to make dinner. So we're doing mashed potatoes, which I need to peel. And then I'm gonna chop them up. Matt's gonna make grilled chicken and steak for himself. We're on the But fun fact about me is in college, I had this meal, I think at least like literally once a day in school. It was mashed potatoes, grilled chicken. At least once a day. You never had it twice. I had it twice a day sometimes. I'm not even lying. I used to have it all the time, especially freshman year more than any other year. But, um,. I had it a little bit too often, I would have to say. And um, it's mashed potatoes, chicken, uh, chicken gravy, and crispy fried onions. So yummy. So I'm gonna go peel these potatoes. dinner this is Matt's little birthday dinner we did crispy chicken so it's potatoes chicken uh, chicken gravy and then fried onion straws like I said I ate this like a hundred times in college and we haven't made this in so long if you guys were around for like the townhouse days 
you've probably seen us make this before, but super yummy. We're really excited. Lenny boy is behaving for us in this little care in a seat. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner and then we're gonna do cake. Want me to say something? 